Close the doors. Mrs. True's back with a new one. They've seen penances, uh, the prototype of the oil carriage. <laughs> it's mad. Primrose, you've got to see. Mother says motor cars are common. Common? There's only eight of them that ever were. I wouldn't expect you to understand, but Mother says they're a blight. Yeah? She say that lately? On a visit, maybe, that we all missed. As though you know anything about being a mother. Primrose. She didn't mean that. Yeah, she thinks she's too big for a spanking. Primrose? I can't ride in it, so I don't see what... No, it's just... I recall you saying you didn't have anyone your own age to talk to. Oh. I'm Miss Chatterway. But you may call me Primrose. I hope we'll be friends. So, what's your turn? I'm large. A Myrtle has a language situation, and I imagine she could use a cup of tea. Oh, um, do you want... She does speak English, but not with her mouth. All right, come with me. We should be married in this. Miss Adair. You look very fine. I think so too. It's like something from a storybook. Mit deinem Prinzen in Duelo. Everyone, just stay calm. These men are being horrid. Oh, oh Primrose. What's happening? They were looking at my underthings. And what do they expect to find there? You, Marley, are true. Why are your men looking through a young lady's personals? Well, it's common practice among criminals to hide things where a decent person wouldn't look. You're not among criminals, Mr. Inspector Monday, Scotland Yard. I have a warrant to search the premises and I need the workshop outside unlocked. You need me. We're all right. Lucy Best can break things by touching them. Primrose Chatterway. Primrose is a child and meek as a kitten. When a kitten reaches ten feet, you call it a tiger. I shouldn't have to explain this to you. So, besides, it's a party. Bring a few of your charges to my estate no later than two. I assume your estate is quite large then? I suppose. Good. Because I'll be bringing the tiger. Between demonstrations, you are free to move about. Mingle, but don't put yourselves forward. Miss Chatterway, I think you will be best served to stay by the stairs so as not to overwhelm. Of course, all your turns will be used to minimal effect. The mission is to amuse, not alarm. I know I'll make a good impression. I have every faith. You'll also be wearing these, so people can comfortably identify you. Excuse me. doesn't go with my dress at all. We had such a lovely time there. Of course, my father is much called away by his work. They're in Zurich for the season. Your mother has found a very cunning tailor, dear. Vernal lace. Hard to find by the yard. Oh, it's not yards. Uh, do we smile or... <gasps> perhaps? Don't be an ass, Carl. Precious. She's fine. Okay. Good 
Joe. Thank you, Beth. You nearly died, you great idiot. You nearly died. Not by my own hand. There's not a place in heaven for them to scorn the gift of life. I knew Horatio would have time to sew me back up. All right, girls. Can Madame Mrs. True in a couple of days? These. Oh, I promise. You wish you could hear her. You want to learn to read? Mary sang to you. To... I'm trying. Mary sang to you. To this person. About this person? When Mary sang, you heard words, language. Mary was telling us something and you understood it. Was it something nice? Mary speaks another language. Or who studied a dead language really well, I've only got law Latin. Oh. It's trouble. Well, you can sneak out for a kiss any time, but not when I need your help. Anil, you know I wouldn't ask. Thank you. I love you. You get six o'clock. Ready? Okay. Hi. Ah. Right. Mertel? Nice and loud. Do I clean that tea? Amalia, my einsam und so dat. Mertel. Bra todos voces kulune. Zam lain Again? Watashi o mitskete venite prima che sia buio. Before the dark? Uh, come before the dark. Si, si. Was that near the end? <laughs> Again. You're here. They're here. We are here. You won't believe it. Merkel, what's wrong? No, it's not wrong at all. Harriet, tell them. It was mostly Harriet that worked it out. I helped with the French, though. Harriet, please. I'm sorry. It... I don't want to say it wrong. It, it wasn't me, it was Myrtle. Didn't feel either. Mary, either. Myrtle understood Mary's song. Mostly. Even Mary didn't know what her songs meant. She always said. Some of it was more about emotion than... 
or emotion plus semantics, but she remembered a lot, she just didn't know how to tell us. Mert. Soon we will all be ready. Oh, that part was me. But it's dark. There's a darkness. She said to everyone, all of us, to gather and protect each other <laughs> because of the dark. <laughs> <laughs> and was there more? And what of those looking down from above, judging, judging these women without knowing where their own judgment ends, when he who sits above all and yet looks down on no one calls them to account? Will they explain how celebrating murder was the righteous path? It's terribly compelling. Ah, so you liked it. <laughs> Telling all to Desiree. Of course you did, you are so predictable. Hey. When Malady is swinging in the sight of lords and little girls, will that bring peace to London? I guess maybe the Galanthi will. Not from damage, not from death. Read the end. And making maladies of us all. Well, I don't much like the sound of that idea. There's no legal argument for this. But the... So let's see who still thinks I should lead. All right, everybody gather around, since you already have. If you weren't listening in, Mr. Dare and I have come to a bit of a crossroads. I am leaving in a few minutes to find the Galanthi, as we've planned. I know I've been vague about what that means, but it's the first step to learning why we were brought here together and what we're meant to do next. And I'm going to Malady to save. I'm going to the square to stop that hanging. I'm going to save Malady. That's mad, right? Acting like she's still a child of God. Well, we all are. We all have a soul, no matter what viciousness people are spewing. I'm going to pluck Malady right from out their bigoted claws and let the world see that the touched are not here to be slaughtered for show. I have practiced saying this and I feel sweaty. All right. We had a plan, now there are two. I can't compel anyone to stay with me, but that's... It's mental, don't do that. I'm younger than most of you here, but I feel like it's my duty to say that I love you both very much, and I don't think anyone should do anything. 